but what's happened to your beard? Why are you all clean shaven? Why are you asking? Had a slight accident with... <laughs> Brilliant. I'm Louisa and in 2016 my husband Mark and I moved here to Star Corner, an early 18th century farm cottage in Norfolk, UK. Ever since meeting, Mark and I dreamt of taking on a DIY house renovation. With little renovation knowledge, a very limited budget and even more limited time, but with oodles of enthusiasm, grit and determination, we embarked on this ginormous doing-it-ourselves learning curve. Slowly we're transforming it into a warm and cosy family home, enjoying the journey and creating pocketfuls of joy and happiness along the way. We've joined YouTube well into our ambitious cottage renovation. She's now secure and safe after stripping her back to bare bricks and doing essential restoration work. We've also built an extension which doubled the footprint of the cottage. This is now the fun part, putting it back together again in our own elegantly knackered style. This vlog brings you along on our continuing DIY renovation journey, documenting the work and sharing stories of renovation living. I was just editing and then I heard lots of chopping. What's happening? Just making uh, a quick beef casserole. As oh, the lovely. weather's so crappy, so. Is that for dinner? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna stick it in the cooker, slow cook it. Should be super delicious. What are you doing with the chicken? I can see chicken I'm as well. I'm gonna sling that in the oven whilst it's on and then we can have that cold another day. Oh, you're getting all prepared for the week ahead. Absolutely. Brilliant. Right, I better get on, but I just thought I'd come and see what you're up to. Okay. Thank you. One minute you're preparing dinner and then you've turned the kitchen into a workshop. What's I happening? Know. I'm just making the capping for the, um, for the gable end. Oh, right. And it's raining outside, so you can't do it outside. Yeah, no. So I just want to get it started so when the sun does shine, I can um, get it up there and fitted so noisy i'm trying to edit and you're just so noisy <laughs> will you be much longer uh no not really okay well i'm going to carry on with editing and hopefully the noise won't carry on for much longer okay all right look what i've just got what was it it's a fig from the tree wow that's the first fig we've actually had was it? yeah i know that? I'll have that for a snack later. We need to um, find somewhere to put that tree because I'd love to harvest lots and lots of figs. Yeah, I have to get to the back of the house here. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Some place. Yeah, right, better get on. relief to be back outside in this sun. You busy concentrating? Yeah, sorry. You're not talking to no. me. What are you doing today? I'm just finished, just making a capping and finishing it off for the our gable end up there. So the gable end here, so that's the where the, the two lots of breeze blocks leave a gap in the middle. You're just capping that. Yeah, well we were going to use aluminium weren't we but, yeah um the budget is dictating otherwise i think the aluminium capping was a thousand quid um i think this is going to cost us about a hundred so yeah that's a bit better it's a little so bit different you're just covering um ply not plywood what's it called um it's osb osb with Chip rubber stuff i mean i don't think you'll notice it because we're having a seed and roof no, I mean, so I don't think you're going to notice no, it. No, and it just up. runs in from the from the rest of the rubber roof anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Anyway, I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to put off um, my job today. I've got to cut the hedge, so I'm just going to drop Imi off at work and Rowan off at a friend. Okay. I need you to find my hedge trimmer because it did live in the kitchen before we knocked the kitchen down, and now it's disappeared into your hellhole of a shed well, my so shed you, of doom yeah shed, another shed of doom yeah. so can you um find it and then i'll start when i get back yeah we'll do all right see you later all right see you later
You know how much I hate going up ladders. Oh, this is looking good. It's good, isn't it? Oh my gosh, are those my kitchen scissors? It's nothing sacred. <laughs> oh, anyway, I just popped up to say that um, lunch is ready. I've just heated up your lovely stew from yesterday, the leftovers. All right then. Oh, I don't know how you can work up here. Why? It just feels too high. Really? Are you trying to do a seductive pose or something for the camera? It's not looking very seductive from this angle. Yeah, <laughs> <It's only better. laughs> no, anyway, I'll go down. I don't like it up here. Got a favour? Well, it's not a favour. Do you want to earn some money? Yeah. How much do you charge per hour? I think it's about a four hour job. Per hour? Well, how much for a four hour job? How much would you want? Twenty pounds. That's okay. You don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll shake on twenty pounds and then I'll tell you what it is. You know, you think the garden's a mess, which I agree. Yeah. And you know, we chopped that hedge down. No, we didn't chop a hedge down. We had that massive conifer chopped down mm -hmm. the other year. I want all the wood moving to the wood store, all of it. And then okay. I'll be able to go in and mow and trim and tidy it up a bit. Will you be able to do that this week? Brilliant. So I'll pay you as soon as you've finished. Great. Thank you. so much this afternoon and my back's really aching now but Mark's just come out to try and get some of the taller bits but it's so dead the hedge is so dead we just need to decide what to do we really want to keep the hedge but we just need to work out obviously we need to do some infill and cut it out at some point but I think for now we'll just leave it dead intact and then we'll deal with it another time. I didn't get a chance to speak to you this morning before you went to work, but what's happened to your beard? Why are you all clean shaven? Why are you asking? Because you look all um, fresh faced. Oh. <laughs> you don't normally look like that. What's happened to your had a slight accident with the spray adhesive yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I managed to spray some on my chin. <laughs> <laughs> she 
had to shave your yeah, beard off. I had a bit of matted beard going on here. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I better take that off, which in itself was quite painful. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Finishing off this week's vlog, and I've realised that we haven't given an update about the windows. So have we heard back from the manufacturer yet? Not yet. Uh, but I've already decided that we are going to go down the, you know, traditional route, really. We're just going to use traditional yeah. paint. Yeah, and I did actually put a coat of undercoat on the doors last night, just slapped it on all the rough bits, and it, I can see that the water is bouncing off. Good. Which is good. Because it's raining again. Yeah, it so at least we don't have to wait now. We can just go and get some paint in the colour that we want yes. and get that on, yeah. which means that then we can hopefully get the other French door installed and then get the glass in. Yeah. So that would be a major step forward. It's just, a sh it's just a shame we couldn't go down the more sustainable route, really. I don't like to um, be like a weather forecast, but have you seen the weather for the weekend? Yeah, I have. It's I rain know. again. I know. Great, isn't it? It just feels like we're never going to get finished. There's not anything outside, we're not. <laughs> oh, I think of some indoor projects. Yeah, I can think of plenty of indoor <laughs> projects. Yeah. All right, I'll let you drink your tea and then get back to work. Yeah, okay. Bye. Bye.